stressed out Everything just feels like a test That I fail so depressed When I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me set up the log at it. Just seen that otter down there. Got that recorded. There's a little pier here. And now got some holes in the side. <coughs> got some holes down the side of that pier somewhere. There's an otter I've been coming in and out of it. Now, sometimes it comes up on the pier so hopefully we'll get to see that later. A little herring earlier, I've got a recording of. Got some swans about. They're quite friendly. I see them come up really close to a bloke with a camera earlier. I'll keep away from them bad boys. And there's our little setup for a couple of days. And of all this up. Stephen has gone up in the van to get uh, some gas, gas bottle. We bought a converter thing for the gas bottle we had, but it don't fit. So it's just a okay, little mission to go and get that so we can cook my curry. I'm cook curry tonight, first time in years. But me and my old hot tent TP. Spencer and his bivvy. And we'll have Steve put his van side on here. Yeah, so it's just a little, little nice bit of fishing. Look at that, yeah, so not really much show now apart from scenery. So once we start cooking and all that, I'll show you a little bit of that. It's too nice here to record everything, too much nice scenery to get everything. It's absolutely amazing, so yeah, we'll uh, wait for them to come back. I'm going to sit down and have a beer and a fag. Wait for them to come back and uh, yeah, get a curry cooking, I think. A bit of sorting out first, but look at this. Loch Etif. Uh, like in the middle of nowhere, we have literally got a shop just up the road that sells a bit of everything in. Starving people, we've got some, uh, can't come to Scotland, can't come to Scotland without buying some so Scotland, uh, square sausage from Scotland, funny so, that's what we've got, some uh, square sausages and eggs in rolls for breakfast, oh, I'm just chilly here, look, <laughs> windbreaker up, bit of scram, a bit of fishing, a few people over, everyone's all friendly here. Port Lou's arriving in about a week. That's a week too late for me. Yummy. Eh? Scottish sausage. Nice heads. Lovely. Fresh day. Have a beer, some munch, then we get some fishing on the go, yeah? Sweet. So what you put on the end of that, mate? Got a little lure, little fish. Rubbery fish. What's the weight you got on there with it? That's to get it out, so we cast it right out. All right, cool. Then when I reel it in, it does that. Cool. About. Happy days. Shall we go? First catch of the day, what'd you catch? Elgie. Elgie. <laughs> that view behind you is mad. Lovely, 
Steve's over there chatting, isn't it? Have you tried feeling how cold water is yet? It's cold. I know it's cold, but how cold? Yeah, we're gonna fish it up behind it, look. Oh, bugs. That's cold, it's not as cold as I expected it to be. No. Go for a little swim later, wouldn't you? Another wind. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I think it's wind. <coughs> ah. Look at the reflection off that wall, you can see the sky. Yeah, lovely, you can see it a bit better on the phone than you can with your eyes. Oh, they've got fish farm over there, we got told. Uh, a little while back, um, look at what's being right, oh, right behind they've got a fish farm. A little while back, did, how many fish escaped? 10, About 10,000 fish escaped. escaped. And apparently you had every Tom, Dick and Harry down here behind me, trying to fish them. Whether it was fishermen or not, they were just catching. What were they, trout? Salmon. Right? Salmon, salmon, and that's trout, it. They're yeah, salmon and trout, 10,000 escaped from a fish farm. Um, so yeah, shame we weren't here then, but there's not really much more I can say at the moment, but they've got another fish farm right over there, about a 10 minute drive round. I've been told we can hire a boat over there for 75 quid for the day as well. So we might even possibly do that. I mean, Sam was going to go to a place called Devil's Pulpit, but the time we got up here last night and got to our camping spot where we couldn't actually camp because people have been going up there and ruining it, so they've turned it into like a proper camping camping place, so it's all permitted and gated, so we couldn't stay there. So as you see earlier, we ended up on the lay-by, drove up the road, Steve found this. Well, we found this a little while ago, but yeah, we drove to it, 40 minutes where it was earlier, Loch Etif. And as I've said probably a couple of times, I've had a beer in there. We've got the fresh water. Run river running into the uh, there's a freshwater river or running into Loch Etif over there. Uh, yeah, well, hey, look, that fish just jumped out. Where? Yeah, just there, jumped out. I see the splash. What have you got it? Have you? No, it just jumped out. Oh. Getting a bit chilly out here now, as you can see. Yeah, chilly for me anyway. I'm just transferring some line from one rod over to another. They're going to go and do a bit of fishing. I'm making a curry look. Proper curry. Couldn't get no curry leaves, but on the bitch tonight doing dinner. Yeah. If you're catching fish, we're going to have a fish curry, yeah? Not tonight. Chicken curry tonight. Onions, chilli, garlic in there. Brown the chicken off. I'll start chucking all that in randomly. I ain't done it for years. I ain't done a curry for literally years. I can't remember last time I've done one, but it's gonna be all right. Chuck all that in, it'll be all good. Coming along nicely. Swapping their line over, putting a new line on the reel. Braid. Braid, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just a chef. I'm obviously not a fucking fisherman. Sorry, Spence. Embarrassing me on the video. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Alright, on that note, fuck you. Look at that. Spence are making, we're making rigs up, Spence. Yeah, for the uh, skate. For the skate? Oh. Where are you going for them? What, in, a couple, in a couple of days, you mean? Yeah. Are you getting them ready right on with you? Yeah. I'm not going to ask what Steve's doing. He's probably looking for a beer or something. He usually is. No. No? What are you getting? Cognac? Organising. All right, fair play. Organising to get himself a beer. <laughs> so I can have the inverter on, but I did it to draw straight from the battery. Yeah, no, it's all good. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only hope. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's can't believe it. That's getting close to the top of his boots. In. I ain't got a microwave, so I've got some microwave rice. Just warm them up like hell, like that. More, more like that. There you go, get rice in there. And then cooking. Take those in. As soon as that's all done, we are ready to go. Stephen Spencer of Fisher down there left me to the cooking. Don't like I've caught nothing yet. What is that? So, hopefully we'll catch them later. I think they're going to fish later, but the weather's starting to get a bit... It's starting to get a bit dark at the minute. I think bad weather's forecast. We might be getting over there tomorrow, I'll say. Dip time. What do I be a potato in your curry? Curry in the middle of nowhere. So nice and chilled. Good day, boys. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Oh, good. Got some naan bread, pomodoms, got no chutneys, I'm afraid, but oh, naan bread to burn in. That is it. Finished. Pit of rice, chicken, homemade curry. Well, yeah, out in the camping. Pomodom, naan. Yum. Only took a few hours. They saved it from the bottom of that mountain. Going all the way over there, there's a rainbow. I can't even see my screen, so I don't know if you. Or seaweed. Lightly, I was about to say, I look like it, but is that your old one? Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never 
really hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see what the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said a no, man, I still go Go, go But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go It's day three. Can you hear the rain? Oh, I need a toilet so bad, but it's cold, it's wet. There's no actual toilets around, so what are you going to do? Wake about half one, half three. On and off, got up for a wee. No. I'm stuck in my tent. Can't wait. Uh, oh. no, not much will be happening today, so. Got an otter. I just oh. dived down, you son of a. He's laughing, game. I'll show you that fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet. He's like a fucking big old fish in his mouth. Does he come? If he does, I'm having him. Got <laughs> <laughs> him open. Get the fish out. I'll get the fucking bow and arrow out, bro. The water is somewhere. He just poked his head up over there. We're going out in his little skip. As soon as I put the phone away, he'll come up. Probably not going to come back up now. We've got a seal keep jumping out of the water. Over there. So there he is. There's Oh, right, there's two of them! It's a matter of, uh, I can't see my phone. There's a bat over there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're all done at Lock, uh, Lock Etif, isn't it? Yeah, Lock Etif. Lock yeah. Etif, alongside the River Raw. Steve caught a crab, and it weren't the fish crab but on the sea. It was a Scottish crab, so it was a Scottish weird. crab. That was out of sea, wasn't it? Not the river. So, right, I'm done there, didn't catch that. Had a nice bit of munch, nice views. Nigel done a banging curry. I've done yeah. a banging curry, that, that was, was good. Top notch. Now we're going up to Lock Lime. Oh, in fact, get some, what is it? Common skate? Yes, mate. And big old common skates and toad. Well, to be honest, that's a fish. A fi yeah, <laughs> catch any fish would do, because we ain't caught nothing apart from a crab. I hooked myself up earlier, about it. Yeah, I'll probably put a bit more scenery in the shots in a minute for the rest of the scene before we get to lock a line.
But this is so you don't see me often, only in Scotland, much. <laughs> fucking road sweep, we're blocking away, we get all the fucking time at work. Stop off to get some sausage steak burgers. Pepsi goes. Now we're in, where are we at Oban, are we? Yes. Oban, looking for a tackle shop. And a ferry. And a ferry. That's further up, isn't it, the ferry? Oh, there's a warrior. Hello, mate. There's a Viking. William Wallace. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's his mate, look, protecting the bikes. Guest house, no vacancies. Guest house, no vacancies. Backpackers Plus, welcome. Hostel and church. Oh. Backpackers plus. Hostel and converted church. Uh -huh. For backpackers. So that'd be like seven quid night and they have showers and that, right? Yeah. I'd pay seven quid just for a poo. <laughs> 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 you should have after Steve. Fucking shitting in a carrier bag in my tent. Farm food's that meant to be really cheap, isn't it? Uh, yeah. What's that, like 50p each? What's that on the door? Pays. Pays. 50 P's. Right, we're looking for a fishing tackle shop here called the Angler's Corner. Is it not on the corner somewhere? It's over there. On the corner. Shop there, fancy chat. Oh, this is Oban, we think. Yeah, the Oban Youth Centre. Pub. Pub. Right, not much to see, so yeah, we're in Oban, getting some bait, then we're off to lock the line. Paid about 30 quid for a kick cut. <laughs> Alright, so that's us leaving Oban, we've got our tackle. Got a few other little bits. Steve got his trousers pulled down, some little plastic balls. <laughs> taco bait. Taco bait, the fish box. Fish, fish tacos, bro. Someone else has posted that on there, right? Yeah. Those people posted it. <laughs> that was you and Spence broke that mountain the first <laughs> night. <laughs> How big are we going to tell them it's going to be? Oh yeah, we uh, are photo shot that. Yeah, we're photo shot it right up. Pump some steroids into it. <laughs> Keep it alive for a few days. Well, I've got this electric pump, we'll blow it up a bit. Yeah, a puffer fish. <laughs> Better luck. Better luck. luck, is it? Yeah, it's alright. 300 yards chance of rock falling. Charge that box, folks. Imagine living there behind this. Yeah, it's lovely. <coughs> <coughs> but after a while, you just come out and you don't even notice yeah, it. Right. There is a no entry sign on that road. Not mine. No, it's just a no Steve's allowed. <laughs> Your English, fuck off. Tell you what though, all the Scottish people are being absolutely friendly as anything. Yeah. Coming over talking to us, smiling at me and Spencer. Rallon and Steve. Yeah. Because <laughs> he walks in and goes, Oh darling! <laughs> and I like, almost run out like they're going to be robbed. <laughs> right, come down these little groovy bits. Groovy. Where the water's slowing. Yeah boy.
So we officially fished, officially fished Loch Linney. Only a couple of casts. A little bit slippery down there. Uh, Spencer slipped over for walking down there. Steve didn't even attempt to walk down there. So I've actually fished somewhere more than these two, but didn't catch anything. Five, ten minutes stop. Loch Linney. And we are off again towards Loch Align. Is that high tide though, 19? Do they measure all in high tide? Which if it's low tide now, it could be half that. You should give them a call now, you're waiting. Oh, toilet here? No, bus stop. <laughs> yeah. I've just missed the ferry, but it's literally over there. It won't take long. Toilets. 50p to use the toilet. Talk about spend a penny. See him, right? We're telling him we're going over to the Isle of Mole. Yeah. Over to the Isle of Mole. Miles of fish. Yeah, loads of massive skate. You're catching loads of it up there. Yeah. Yeah. We're telling him to fuck off over there. We've been speaking to a bloke on the first first spot we stopped, wasn't it? Out on there, no, it's and <laughs> we can. <laughs> If right, you listen to this, make him stop following us. Yeah, we, yeah everywhere we go, victimizing him. everywhere he goes, he seems to turn up. So next time we're going to tell him we're going to go and go in somewhere else, and he won't follow us. He looks like I'm a fud. <laughs> Robson Green, I think. I think Wallace and Gromit. He's green. <laughs> <laughs> the Corran Ferry for the third time, like this. There it is. Look, see it down there. In finesse. I'm driving through the mountains in a minute. Because you ain't gonna be able to see tent up or look along here. That's right. But I'll sleep in your bivy. Well, I could. Yeah, but yeah. I guess to tighten the bags. Using Navionics, we should be able to find ourselves a good spot ourselves. We can be on a date at our own spot and want to lock a line during the day tonight. But we're not on lock a line yet. No, no still, we're on uh, Loch Linney. Yeah. Going into Loch Eel, E I L, isn't it? Eel, Loch Eel. Loch in CC. We just dropped it down a gear at all. Just realised we've got a lot of weight in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the windscreen, people, and the dirt. <laughs> the phone is 4K, I promise you. That's not nice, you got a docky at 33 ten, don't lie. <laughs> not even around to find out the reply. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, here we go. Is this fresh water running down the no, seawater coming off the mountains. <laughs> no, I don't know. from the road. Do you think there's well, a... Well, there might be a road up there. There might be a road up there. Yeah. <laughs> think about what you just said. Yeah, is that fresh water? <laughs> yes, it is fresh water, Stephen. Can you pH test it? <laughs> yes, Stephen. Well, why don't we fill up our water here, then? Because it's probably got cow shit in it. <laughs> mountain oh, goat shit. Uh, mountain cows, Nigel. Mountain goats. Oh, mountain cows, you said. <laughs> yeah, oh, I got a bit tongue tied. <laughs> Just because you fucked up, don't try to embarrass me. I read it my bit out, I'm alright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, yeah, it did it out. I read it my bit out, yeah. <laughs> so that's us, Steve Park in there. We're going to turn in a bit. Jonesy will be turning up in a minute. we park parking here. But this is where we're camping for the night, look at this. Spencer's gonna go there, I'm gonna try and get my tent next to him. A bit all good, so I'll be on a hill. <coughs> Got a couple of Geordies here, fishing. I've said nuts. 
proper right bone. Look at this. Hello. Right, after a couple of hours driving, a ferry ride appeared that we couldn't stop long because there's too many people now. Can't need a drink. We find a spot for a night or two. Quiet, they've got a couple of lads down there. They've been here for a couple of nights, not really cool what they're looking for. We're trying to get some common skate. Um, got some Geordie lads, get off their nut. Speak about a million miles per hour, but they're a laugh. But um, yeah. yeah, I've got Jonesy on our way. Jonesy on his way with Pauline, gonna park up here. Steve's van, obviously, the fishing gear's all ready to go. Steve's getting his body out for the camera. Oi, oi. Steve's in the van as usual. Good thing about the TP, look, you can put him on a hill. That's me, there's Spencer again. And we've got a barbecue bench as well, so we'll be having dinner on that later. And we're fishing Lock a Lion. Oh yeah, we're uh, ringing back in a bit. We've got some food on the go, barbecue, whatever, whatever we're doing, we'll let you know.